Hi, this is Jim Janissey. We're going to play with a little bit of a file here recorded from a piano and downloaded from a website that's very handy. I'll uh, tell you about that website if you want to experiment more. Here's the scale we're going to play with. That's just the C scale and it's played on the piano by somebody at a pretty regular interval for each note. What I'm going to do now is to expand the timeline here. That is the scale of the time so you can see what this wave looks like. See it's rather jaggedy. Every one of those notes, it isn't a pure tone. Well, it's a pure tone as far as the piano is concerned, but it's it's got multiple frequencies in it giving it the kind of sound that it, uh, the distinctive sound. And here we see a variation in the intensity, that is the amplitude, and the frequency, but it's rather complex. So let's do something else. I just jumped in there and marked a spot and played from that point onward, but I'm going to actually isolate a section of this now so I can just play a little bit of it. This is something you can do with Audacity very easily. Now I just played that little segment, but it wasn't too interesting. I'll make it bigger. And maybe I'll just isolate this note. Now something I can do to play with this under the effects, if you go down here to repeat, you can say how many times you want to repeat this particular highlight sound. Here I've repeated it, but it changed the time scale on me. So it sounds like something stuck in a player piano. Let's do a little something with the end of this also in the, th the very same way. And now I'm playing it. And it looks like something got stuck. This is just a little demonstration of a couple of things that you can do with Audacity to play around.